It was 630 a Henderson father searching for answers tonight after he says a hit and run driver left his son for dead. He was on a motorcycle at the time. This was Monday afternoon. Now he's asking for your help. News Street's George Acosta has been talking with the family. He's live at the scene of that crash, which is right near Boulder Highway and Lake Mead, that intersection, to tell us more about it. George? Well, yeah, it was in broad daylight when the family of 20-year-old Jacob O'Neill says that he was struck by a hit-and-run driver just along this stretch of road. It's just really unfortunate that they didn't even pause to make sure my brother was even alive, let alone okay. Two days after returning to the scene of the crash on Lake Mead and Ivy Street, Jacob O'Neill's family is still searching for answers after receiving a call from O'Neill saying he had been hit while on his way home. I got a call about approximately 1 o'clock and he said, Dad, Dad, my foot's gone. I said, what? He said, my foot's gone, Dad. You need to come to me now. Once they arrived at the scene of the crash, O'Neill's father and his sister say first responders were already loading Jacob into an ambulance, but say what was left over at the scene of the crash really put things into perspective of how severe the situation truly was. This bike was on the, on the asphalt right there. There's blood all over this place. His shoe was in the middle of the road, soaked in blood. In addition to experiencing severe blood loss, O'Neill's family says he also suffered fractures to both his pelvic bone and hand, a shattered heel bone, and had a large portion of his right foot missing. The pieces of his his foot, they're nowhere on the road or anything, so we can only assume it was on the vehicle that hit him. As for that vehicle, O'Neill's family says unfortunately witnesses on scene could only describe it as what appeared to be a black SUV. Now they also say O'Neill believes the driver was heading in the opposite lane of traffic before he was struck. We don't have much to go on either, so any help we can get, it, we'd really appreciate it. I think the person, they need to realize what they've done, they need to know what they've done, and they need to pay some kind of price because it's going to affect him the rest of his life. O'Neill's family says while he may now be in stable condition, there are still more surgeries planned to try and repair the damage and save his foot. They were trying to do surgery today on him, but they had to open him up again to see what was going on, and it was just too much of a mess. He has a possibility of losing his foot. I mean, he's going to have to go through physical therapy. He's never going to be able to do things like riding his bike that he loved to do. Now, I reached out to Henderson police who say that they are actively investigating this crash. Now, as for O'Neill's family, they say that they hope that someone will come forward with more information on this crash. For now, reporting live near Boulder Highway and Lake Mead, Georgia Costa News 3. Yeah, you can certainly understand the motivation to try to get that kind of person off right. the street. Thank you so much, George.